Acquired brain injury, it's actually an umbrella term. In my daily job in the ICU, the two groups of patients we most commonly see are patients who have suffered trauma. They tend to be younger patients. Another very common presentation I see is out of hospital cardiac arrest. What we aim to do is improve their care in the ICU and the hospital setting so they can have optimal outcomes afterwards. The TAME trial has been a really successful collaboration between ourselves here in UCD and Monash University in Melbourne. And we've delivered this large international phase three trial with UCD coordinating in Europe and Monash coordinating in Oceania. Essentially, it tested a hypothesis of does higher levels of CO2 or hypercapnia improve outcomes following out of hospital cardiac arrest? There was a lot of evidence and there was some shift in practice to suggest that that was the case and people were actually allowing higher levels of CO2. But actually our trial definitively showed that's not the case. We we need to stick with our current practice, which is normal levels of CO2 in these patients. A number of other things have come from this. We have a, a, a large collaboration with the TTM2 group, which looked at hypothermia in the same uh, group of patients. And actually what that trial and the trial before it showed is actually that normal levels of temperature or avoidance of high temperatures or praxias is what we need to do in possible cardiac arrest. And what these trials do is each answers one piece in the puzzle about how we should manage patients who have had an out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. And a really neat part of this program was we actually collect biological samples and we actually then are going to try and develop the next generation of trials which will be more refined. For this group of patients we're aiming to introduce a precision medicine approach so we can identify the patients most vulnerable and most likely to receive benefit from the treatments. So I actually think we're going to change the way we do business, not only in this group of patients but more broadly in critical care. We have shown in, say, the TM trial that current practice is optimal, so they don't need to change. For the TTM2 trial that we did as well, there actually were expensive devices that were used, and we no longer need to, need to use them as much as before. But there's other really sort of tangential benefits. This brings in early career researchers, which allows us to educate the next generation of researchers in Ireland, but also allows us to tailor some of the treatments more specifically to patients, and that allows for a more efficient health service in the future.